Okay, so here we are. What are we doing today, Mrs. T? God knows. We're, we're, we're trying to cook with a dog. There's a dog. And we're trying to cook. And we're going to do something silly. Yeah. We've got a ninja wood fire, yeah. which is an electric barbecue. Yeah. Um, it's also a smoker, a grill, an air fryer, a roaster, a grill, everything. It's electric mm -hmm. because we're in the middle of a car park. Mm -hmm. But then <laughs> we've got an electric car. <laughs> we've got the Kia Nero, here, which please. is an all electric car. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Look at this bit of kit, everybody. We've got our electric barbecue plugged in to the front of our Nero, which means we will pull the juice off from the battery in our Nero to cook our food. <laughs> but, will we get home? What? Will we get home? I have no idea. What miles do we have on the 12th? I don't know. I'm going to check that at the moment. Let's go and check to see how many miles we've got on the clock before we start, because this could be the deciding factor. Okay, let's get in the car. So I've got 86% of my battery. I don't know if you can actually zoom in on that. 86% of my battery is going at the moment. I'm going to turn it on and see if we can get... Um, just choose here. Let's have a look just have a look and see there we go we've got 255 miles left in the battery so considering we've only got about 20 miles to get home i want to see by using the ninja wood fire electric barbecue plugged into my nero because it's got a 13 amp socket connector so i can draw power from the car Sit here, have a barbecue in the car park in Old Hun Stanton, up on the cliffs, and we're going to cook some lamb steaks, we're going to barbecue some minted potatoes and some vegetables and all sorts of things, and we're going to see how much it drains off that car. And if it's only a few miles, then absolutely brilliant, because this is a new thing we can cart around in the boot during the summer. Car parks, um, picnic areas, anywhere where you can park the car and cook near it. So that's what we're going to do today. Right, I'm going to pop it back outside and find Mrs. T. Hello. Right, so here we are. I can't remember now how many miles we've got left. Since just I've just got out of the car, 250, I think, ish. Is so we've got plenty. Okay. We've got absolutely plenty. And we only but... need about two or three to get home, don't we? Because <laughs> we're, we're stuck. I said about 20, depends which way you take me. Okay. Yeah, anyway, so here we go. We're going to uh, turn it on and uh, we're going to have some vegetables. First thing I've got, I've got the potatoes here, I've got the vegetables. Now, I've prepared these at home. Yeah. The potatoes, are boiled potatoes yesterday. Yeah, yeah. I put them in, in this bag with a little bit of oil yeah. and some mint sauce. Uh -huh. So I did the prep at home. You did, well done. And we're gonna pop that on the grill. And then in here, I've got some chopped peppers, some asparagus. Hey. Um, what? Who is eating a salad over there? Is he really eating the grass? I've got some um, asparagus and some peppers in there, That's which great. I popped in with a little bit of oil yeah. and some turmeric. Did you bring halloumi? Yes, I've got some halloumi yes. as well, yeah. with some turmeric and uh, a little bit of paprika. Uh -huh. So that's been marinating in there. We're going to do those on here first before we have the lamb steaks yeah. with the halloumi. Lovely. Okay. So it doesn't matter that you don't have to have it all together, does it? It's just going to be this, eat it and... Bit yeah, of time, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so here we go. Here's the Barbie uh, on the Ninja wood fire. Now then, there's your on off oh, button. I put the, oh, hang on a second. I put the thing that you, the drain thing inside it. So you might want to empty that and put it in the bottom. Take it out of that thing before you switch it on. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Done. Yeah. yeah just good. turning it. So I'm going to turn it on. Well, take the drain thing out. Well, I'm going to open it first so oh, you can okay. see what's in there. Okay. Honestly, I can tell she's getting better, can't you? <laughs> right, I'm going to take that out there because here is the drain thing. thing about which it. is the, I call it the fat catcher. Oh, we don't Okay, it. so I'm going to pop that behind. Now, then, another thing we've done here, and we did this with a Kadak, everybody. So we got one of these barbecue mats, yeah. okay? Put the barbecue mat on there. 
because it's so much easier to clean. You're not scrubbing that grill. You didn't even clean it from last night, Mrs. T. What? I did. Oh. Obviously, oh, not no, very good. I, that, no, the whole, the actual thing was yours. Mine was just a tray. Oh, it was my mat. job, was it? Yeah, I was, I was to clean the map, the thing in the barbecue. Mat. Okay, right then. First of all, we're going to do is we're going to warm it up and prep it. So I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to turn it on to grill. Okay, it goes hi, and then we're going for grill time. So we're just going to go for ten minutes grill time. So I'm going to press start. And it's telling me to shut the lid so i'm going to shut the lid down and what that's going to do now is bring that up to temperature and as soon as that has come to temperature mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we can then pop those vegetables on there and start munching how fabulous is that hey, yeah stuff. Yep. that's good so when that comes back at temperature um yeah we'll uh, we'll come back to you see you again soon so there we go. Oh, it's preheated. That took what two minutes, three minutes? Yeah, not long. Yeah, not long. So now it's telling us to add food because it's all warm inside. So if you can do the honours and hold that, Mrs. T. I will. We've even got our radio there. Look, waiting for later. So I'm going to open the lid. Oh, yep, that's lovely and hot. So I'm going to stick the vegetables on there. All right. You forgot the tongs, didn't you? You forgot the barbecue tongs. Then in mind. Because this is just a sort of like a little precursor before we have the steaks. Yeah. Now I'm going to stick those minty potatoes on there as well. I thought well. you were just about to lose your bag. There we go. And we can take those bags home and wash them out and be really uh, economically, not economically, ecologically friendly. I can either do that or put them in the bin, one or the other. Yeah, well, we won't. Okay. We go pop that on there. Now I've set that for 10 minutes, mm -hmm. okay, leave those on there, just cooking away, and I'm going to shut that lid down, and in 10 minutes time we should have mm -hmm. some really lovely roasted char-grilled vegetables. What do you reckon, Boomer, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, he's, there's his vegetables there, look, he's yeah. got a couple of carrots. Got some carrots, and not later on, Booms. Yeah. So there we go. So, nine minutes and 28 seconds to go. Cool. Let's see what it's like. We'll come back to you in a minute. Okay. Are we nearly there yet? We are. Can you see? 41 seconds still to go. All right, okay. Um, I forgot to mention. Yes. But we'll show it when we put the steaks on later. Yeah. Halfway through, it tells us to flip it and move it around. It did. It said flip. Yeah. So, five minutes, it went beep, beep, flip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mind so that table with that dog. So, a bit of a flip. Mm -hmm. uh, now we're coming up to 24 seconds, 23 seconds. Yeah. So when it tells us to open, we'll have a look, see if it's cooked. And then I think it'll be a good idea just to check out the car mm -hmm. and see mm -hmm. how much electricity we've used from the car yet. Mm -hmm. And will we get home? <laughs> and we've still got steaks to cook. So here we go. Five, four, four three, two, two one. one. Done. It says done. It does say and done. we have been. And look at those. Oh, that looks nice, actually. Just look at that. Can you see those really close? They are some really good... Roasted vegetables. Roasted vegetables. Look at those. That looks lovely, actually. Ten smells. minutes. Mm, That's smells. all that was. Mm. It was ten minutes. It smells lovely. So I'm going to pop those onto a plate, serve them up so we can munch them. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll put, put the... Uh, the camera on pause. Mm -hmm. Once I've served them up, then I'll go in and have a look at the car, okay. and we can share with everybody what the mileage looks like. Okay. Hmm. There's the veg all ready for us in a little bowl. Somebody's also waiting for his veg, but stay away, booms, because well, I'm going to go in the car now and take a look. Let's just go and have a look and see what plugging that into the front of the car. As you can see, we've plugged it in. Barbecue's working. Let's have a look, just to see how many miles we've used off the car at the moment, just to do 10 minutes of cooking. And look at that. It's still sitting there on 252 miles. Now, just in case that's a fluke, I'm going to turn the car off um, and just rejig that. And then just see by turning it on if it resets itself, just in case. Okay, you can hear it all 
resetting. Let's look at the mileage. 252 miles. That is with an electric barbecue plugged into my Kia Nero. It's hardly used any. We're going to stick some steaks on that barbecue now. So I think that's going to be another 10, 15 minutes with the steaks on the barbecue. 10 minutes, I think. We've got two really juicy lamb steaks. We're going to whop those onto the uh, Ninja wood fire, and then we'll see what happens. I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, so here we go. We've got the steaks on there. We've got some halloumi on there, um, and we're ready to go again. So I'm going to turn the lid down just like that and then I'm going to press start uh, oh it's ended so I'm going to start it again uh, there we go it's obviously preheating again uh, I don't know what I've done there it all got turned off um, for whatever reason so um, I'm gonna have to preheat it with the steaks on there so lesson before you put the steaks on make sure it's all ready and set um, ready to go so steaks are on it's preheating my bad my mistake but once it comes up and says it's ready to go i'll have a quick look inside and we can all have a look okay right here's the thing we're gonna have to because i cocked up with everything it's cooking it on preheat which isn't a bad thing because it means that we're getting our food sooner rather than later um but i'm gonna have to turn the steaks because they need to be turned over. Now again, it's not a bad thing because it was on preheat. This has taken about four minutes, hasn't it? And don't forget, we're cooking by using electric from the Kia Nero, mm. which is absolutely amazing. Who would have thought this? In so a park, in, in a car park Stanton. in Old Hun Stanton with an electric barbecue, well, smoker, griller, air fry, roaster, baker, everything. You take me to Places. Absolutely, I really treat you. You carry on <laughs> chomping on your vegetables there. I will. Right, we're going to serve up the halloumi, shut yeah. the lid and carry on cooking that lamb steak and then we'll come back to you. Right, Mrs. T, tell me. Mm -hmm. Halloumi, try Hello. it. What about it? Just try it. Mm -hmm. Because I'm trying a bit and it's mm. really, really nice. Mm. It's crispy, mm. isn't it? Isn't that lovely? Mm. Don't you think so? Mm, love it. I do think so. It's lovely. Mm. Mm. I love having appetizers before the main course. But halloumi is nice, but for some reason it's even nicer today. Is that why? Mm. I think it's because it's crispy, crispy. It's very crispy. It's lovely. Mm. Mm. Good. Right. Mm. Right. Since preheat, yeah, those steaks have been on for another just under three minutes yeah. and I think that will be plenty <laughs> look at those because I want to take them off and just let them relax mm -hmm. um, if you take them off like that they're always a bit tough so it's, it's just just to take them off pop them on a plate let them relax mm -hmm. and then happy days so I'm going to turn this off so that is completely off I even said goodbye but you may have missed it now what we're going to do I'm going to pop those steaks onto those plates. Now I've got just some salad here and I've got a mango, which I diced before I came away. Mm -hmm. And I put it in one of those plastic bags as well. Cool. And I just put a tiny drizzle of honey into that mango. Oh, it smells like that. Sounds lovely. Yeah. So we'll have that. So I'm going to pop those. If you can just take the camera, Mrs. T. I can. I'm going to pop those steaks onto those plates. like that let them relax a little bit it looks very colorful in the face of boomer bear because he's just going to sit there oh, and do bless his him look at him <laughs> licking his lips well they're not for you honey no. and i'm going to go and take another look mm -hmm. inside the car oh, just so we can see i'm going to move this up there right, right. i'll move not, this up I'm here as well i'm not going to be responsible for a dog and right. one on my own um we're still in the car park at Stanton. <laughs> there's the sea over there there you go, there's people there. There's some black sky over there, which has gone past us, I'm glad to say. Yeah, we thought again. We thought we were going to get caught by that. Damn it. I can take that off now. There we go. Look, Miss T's hair even growing back. Look at that. Yeah, it's getting there. It's very nice. It? And let's just go and take another look inside the car. 
have a look. Don't forget, we're plugged into the Nero using the electric. Give us a wave. How much electricity have we used cooking those appetizers and those two steaks? Well, look at that. We've now got 249 miles left. So that's telling me we could have gone for a lot longer than 20 minutes up the road or only a few miles. Um, and that gives us so much more flexibility in the summer of where we want to go and how far we want to go. So that really is pretty amazing. Absolutely amazing. I thought it would have taken 40, 50, 60, I don't know, 70 miles. I really don't know. I haven't worked out the math. I don't know what wattage is with amps and drawing batteries off and everything else. But what I can say is that Ninja wood fire barbecue, roaster, air fryer, whatever it is, is coming away with us in our Kia Nero more often. We've even got a 13 amp plug in the back here, so instead of it coming out the front, we could plug it into the back of the car in the 13 amp, which gives us a bit more flexibility if there's a bit of a breeze and we don't want it at the front of the car, we want it at the side of the car, etc. So that really, really is absolutely phenomenal. I am so, so pleased with that. Guess what mileage is? What? 249. Have we used two miles? We've used, no, we've used three miles. Three miles? Three miles on using that electric Ninja wood fire, uh -huh. cooking steaks and those appetizers. Mm -hmm. um, amazing. Perfect. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah. And I didn't think that, uh, I thought it would take tens of miles, 20, 30, 40, 70, 80 miles just doing it. But as I said just now, I'm not, I can't work it out mathematically, so I wouldn't really, really, really know. So I'm just trying to untangle my feet down here because Boo was just wandering around. And uh, <laughs> you just sit there and watch me. <laughs> okay. Look, everybody, I hope that's, uh, yeah, I just hope that's. It's just something else, isn't we it? Hope, we, we, we hoped that we could plug the electric um, ninja into the car, and that's exactly what we've done. And it just goes to prove it's you brilliant, isn't it? You can ninja in the car, you can do anything. You know what we ought to do next? What? I think next, what? when we come away, we ought to bring the wash. Oh, there goes the table. We ought to bring the washer. Oh. <laughs> Boomer! <laughs> Yep, that's you. We, had some adventures, don't we? <laughs> we want to bring the washing machine with us, and we can do the washing while we're sitting here no, in the car park. No, I have actually brought my sink, my my uh, washing up bowl, and I bought the um, the um, what's it called? The um, thing that heats you. The primer stove. Yeah, the primer stove because I want to wash this all up as well. Yeah, that's so right. You just took away my joke. Oh, why? I was going to say bring the washing machine with us, and we could wash our dirty laundry in public. Anyway. anyway, you eat. Sorry. You just you just dig in there and eat, my love. <laughs> I don't want it to go cold. Yeah, you drink your wine. I think Boomer's about to take you a chair. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's had he's had enough. Bless him. <laughs> right. Um, li listen, everybody. Um, Kia Nero, Ninja Wood Fire. Put the two together. And you, you get got, dinner. You get dinner. <laughs> It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I hope this has given you some idea of something to do in the summer. If it has, please, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, hit that red button and subscribe. I know you want to see more Mrs. T. Yes. We want to see more of the Ninja Woodfire. We want to see more of Boomer Bear. And we want to see more of the Kia Nero. And here we are at Hunt Stanton. Thank you, everybody, for watching. We really appreciate your support. And there goes the table again. Table's going again. And bye for now. Bye.